Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Good Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Now, before you do anything, this video is not going to be a rant. I promised myself, I said, Code, don't do a rant. But this is something that is very passionate to me, very personal to me, and something that is affecting lumber, okay? And if you're a Lumber Tycoon 2 fan, if you are a hardcore, diehardcore fan, and you've been on my channel for a long, long time, and you're only here for the YouTube content of Lumber Tycoon 2, go ahead and unsubscribe, because I've been doing other things for like the last two weeks. Seriously. If you're just here for Lumber, go ahead and unsubscribe. Right now. Go. Bye. Okay. Now that those guys are gone, thank you everyone for being uh, like a dedicated uh, viewer to the channel and being here for awesomeness because it's been a wild ride. I've been uh, an auto uh, autoit channel. I've been a hypnosis channel. I've done um, I've done book readings like for for my kids so they could have five minute story time books and stuff like that. It's been crazy. Now what blew up was my Lumber Tech into Roblox videos. I don't want that to become the staple. That's the only thing keeping my channel alive because as we see right now, lumber is going through some hardships. It's been going through some hardships for some time and that's just because of updates, interest, things. It's a very dated game. I mean, it's over, what, 12, 13 years old, something like that? Hi, hi there. Okay, but this that's not the point, okay? Um, I, I know you're a fan. Notice that the sound is gone, okay? This is this is not a little deal. This is not a, a small thing affecting one person. This right here, oh, come on back, come on back. Where's, close it, F9, there we go. As you can see right here, failed to load asset, unable to download sound data, unable to, all this, right now is happening on Roblox, okay? There's a big massive wave of copywritten music getting taken down left and right, but an automation system. <sighs> like I said, it's not gonna be a rant, promise. It's not a rant, it's not a rant. I'm gonna play, I'm, I am gonna play, all right? But listen, this is a big problem. It's been a big problem for a very long time. Roblox, all right? <clears throat> all right, first off, kids, I know that a lot of you don't understand what copyrights are and you really like a song and you think, man, I really wish that song was on Roblox. And you take that song, you download it, and then you upload it to Roblox. That is copyright infringement. That is stealing. You can't do that, okay? Everybody knows it. Like this is this is the thing. I'm not yelling at you. I'm not I'm not yelling at the kids. I promise. This is something that everybody needs to understand. We don't own the rights to that song. The label company owns the rights to the song. The artist who created it owns the rights to that song. Same thing is happening on TikTok and YouTube and everywhere, okay? Things are getting stolen left and right, all right? This is why I was so upset about the whole Woodmill Incorporated thing, okay? Because they could look alike, absolutely. You can, you can make something look like something, but when it comes down to the sources and the things that just... You cannot steal. It's also why I made the fake videos, the, the fake Lumber Tycoon 2s. You can't do that. You can't just take something, polish it, and throw it back out there as your own. Now, there are stuff like um, remixes, like DJs who do remixes of songs, um, scratching, sampling in the background, rappers, stuff like that. But there's also these big lawsuits that happen because of that. Ugh. There is an article. Let me pull it up. I think I lied. I think I lied. It's going to become a rant. It, it's it's already turned into a rant. Dr. Pepper for the win. Uh, not sponsored. Action needed upcoming changes to the asset policy of the audio. Action needed upcoming changes to the asset privacy for audios. Please start reviewing your experiences now to ensure that the users are not disrupted. To help you like figure this out, by March 22nd, that's this month, our current licensed music catalog will receive newly curated section for more than 100,000 rights cleared songs and more than 100,000 new professional product uh, produced FX from top audio and music uh, partners like APM, Monster Cat, Pro Sound Effects, Network Music Group, and Position Music. I urge you, listen to me, developers. This is going to affect you. Content creators, this is going to affect you. Do not 
use Monster Cat. They will not protect your content, okay? This is the thing. Roblox has already paid for these big contracts through APM Music, Hawk, these third-party ad rev things, and the first part was good, all right? I've worked with Hawk, and I've worked with APM Music. They will release the... the um, things. If you record a video about a Roblox game and you put it on the internet, put it on YouTube, same goes for Twitch, they will release it. You, you're you're going to get a hit. It, it's the same thing with all music. But in the Roblox contract, they stated that videos about the Roblox games will be released. Monster Cat will not do this. Epidemic Sounds will not do this. Pro Sound Effects, New Work Music Group, and Position Music those they will not release it okay so if you want youtubers to play your video games roblox developers i'm i'm telling you this right now if you want us to play your games you've got to remove epidemic sounds pro like all the rest apm music is fine and you can tell if it's apm music because if i go to the creator marketplace i select audio i go to roblox all right these are songs that were uploaded by roblox Say I say tech, techno, all right? This first song that pops up, right here, techno, techno, right? This, if we look, has been licensed courtesy of APM Music. If I upload a video and there is a game that has this sound inside it, my channel as a YouTuber gets a strike. It gets, it gets a claim. And that means I get no revenue. It doesn't matter if it's six seconds Five minutes doesn't matter we youtubers that's how we make our, our money on YouTube so if you're producing a game that we can't monetize on we're not gonna play it but it's simple facts okay <sighs> now I've really gotten far away from this in recent weeks because there's there's ways to go about combating this there's a ways to handle this particular situation and i will show you what my response was from epic epidemic games okay so my email said so i have had an issue in the past i've had this issue in the past um the developers of a game called pet simulator x on roblox they hold the license for epidemic sounds music on their game but when any content creator makes a video about the game it gets claimed by you how are, uh, how do we resolve this um, do I dispute the claim? I don't hold a license for the music at the and at this time do not need you to provide music for my videos. Basically, I, I don't need your sounds from epidemic uh, epidemic sounds. Okay, I'm, I'm telling them like, hey, look, this isn't a game. It's not a thing. And before anybody makes the comment or you could just turn off the sound or you could do it. I understand. Absolutely. But that kind of kills the whole point of the developers being able to put that kind of music inside their game for us to enjoy. So, uh, it just happens that the game was in your... Uh, the, blah, 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 blah. It just happens that the game has your song and it's the game that I played. As of right now, I'm simply uh, removing the song, but would like to know how to proceed in future videos. And I show right here, it shows not affected public uh, in its ineligible and that's because i went to use uh Robo or use youtube's remove song only feature which is in beta all right but if you do that it actually takes like two three hours for the whole thing to process and it just removes the song okay my 44 minute video that i created because i'm a content creator and i make things by playing video games had one minute and six seconds of a sound from the the pet simulator now pet simulator big games they paid for a license okay they can use that sound in their game i went and recorded the game put it on my channel i didn't know that they had a license against it there's there's nothing there in the page that says where they got their sounds and everything else so guess what i don't find out until after i've uploaded the video and spent all this time on the content and that one minute took all 44 minutes and demonetized it. They get the revenue. Epidemic Sounds gets that revenue. I don't get a penny of that. So there's one of two things you can do. You can dispute it with some kind of license, like you you have a license for them, which if you go and get a license, you have to pay $12 a month. Hold on, I'll show their response. Okay, 
so here we are. This is Epidemic Sounds from their copyright division getting back to me. And I understand where they're coming from, but I kind of don't. Because at the same time, this feels, it feels greedy. I, I don't know if Epidemic Sound actually takes the revenue from the YouTube videos and pays the artist for it, but I do know that they get the profit for it. So, you know, I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Epidemic Sounds is going to charge you. All right. Thanks for reaching out. In order to monetize videos that use our music, you will need to have an active subscription at the time of publishing. Although the creator of games may hold, the, uh, hold a license to use our music in their game, that license does not cover publications that haven't been satis, uh, safe listed by them. The way our licensing model works is that the party uploading a video to YouTube needs to be cleared in our system in order to avoid claims. All videos published during the subscription will be cleared for, for claims forever. However, if you publish videos with our music after your subscription has ended, you will run the risk of receiving claims. In, uh, in other words, it's all about when you publish the video rather than when you downloaded the track. Bear in mind that claims are uh, not a copyright strike. We will never take down, mute, or block YouTube videos for using our music without a license, given that you don't appeal a monetized claim. Leaving epidemic sounds without the option to monetize your video. The only thing that will happen is we will place ads on your video. That's the whole point, epidemic sounds. That's the whole point. Let us know if you decide to sign up or want your claims released. If you want to sign up and have your claims released in order to stay clear of claims moving forward, make sure that you have active subscriptions linked to your YouTube channel on the day that you publish your videos. With all the best regards, Sam. Now, Sam, I know you're just regurgitating the corporate spew of everything else in the world, and I, I, I commend you for it, but here's the problem. Big Games has already paid for the license. They have a right to use it in their game. My channel has no association with Big Games. I'm not partnered with them. They're, they're not mine. And I understand where Epidemic Sounds is coming from. I don't own the sound. But here's the thing. If you're making a video about a Roblox game and that music is in the game, then why are you striking my channel when they hold a license? It's, it's like double dipping. Okay? It's like making you pay for something and whatever you produce having somebody else come and, and like take a picture of it and now i charge them for it i'm not using it for my video i don't want it for my video in fact if i had a choice i would take it down off the game completely and put in my own music which you probably can there's a mute option for the music inside the games but here's the other thing roblox has, has been going through and creating these huge massive um, waves of takedowns and it's going to get worse. I think that the reason they, they've done this, the, the reason that they're going through all the effort is because somebody has come at them with an actual like lawsuit. And again, I think it's great. Okay. I thought it was horrible that, um, all my friends are heathens. Take it slow. That song was torn up. It was ripped left and right. <sighs> And it was stolen and thrown all over the the Roblox community. But here's the thing. So are images and logos and paintings and just everything. This spew of content ripping, like IPs, intellectual property rights. If you create something, you have a right to protect that and a right to monetize it yourself. But if you steal something and you try to make money off that, you can't do that, okay? One of the examples that I, I spit out to uh, my tweet was this right here, okay? If you just search for Coca-Cola, right, the logo for Coca-Cola pops up on Roblox all over the place, and that's just one singular product. Here's the thing, Roblox 
makes money off the sale of these items. It's like 30%, 10%. I don't even remember what the percentage is, but here's the thing. If that product, if that thing is sold and it has a monetary value, which Robux having DevX has a monetary value, then Roblox themselves is in trouble because that's not their logo. And they allowed the infringement to happen. It, it was the same thing with uh, Zenus VCRs way back in the day. Because you could go to Blockbuster, get a, a tape, put it in a VCR, dub that over to another VCR as the input and have the output to your TV and record videos off like that. A huge thing was happening where Zenith was getting in trouble because other people were using their product to copy copywritten materials. I mean, this is not a new problem. This is a problem that's been around since I was a child. All right, I'm 40 years old now, and Roblox is just now getting to the point where they're taking this kind of stuff down. I'm sorry, I am not a drama channel by any means, <laughs> but I am going to care in this, okay? And I'm, I'm going to speak to managers, I am going to voice my opinion, I'm going to throw it out there to the world because it's not, it's not the corporations who are suffering, okay? Roblox is gonna do just fine whether they allow you to have a hundred sounds or a thousand sounds or whatever, whatever they're doing with their, their new thing, they're in stocks. They have a ton of stock market. We saw the stock market kind of dip a little bit, but as a corporation, this is going to hurt them big time. They can't allow you to upload infringing products, right? <clears throat> with that being said, <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know what to make of this, and it's, it's really kind of irking me because I am an, an advocate for copyrights. And to kind of just highlight and show you what I'm talking about, all right, my video, this one here, the one that released yesterday, it was the uh, Roblox Pet Simulator X finally got through the, the tech portal. This is the one that got, uh, got the, the claim on it. And I wasn't going to be able to monetize it until it was cleared. I took the song out. I would rather, listen, listen, listen. I would rather take an entire video down and never post it than to give one cent to Epidemic Sounds because they had a sound inside the game. Again, if I need music for my channel or something like that, I would absolutely go and use them. If you need music for your YouTube or your Twitch or something like that, great company. All their stuff is royalty free. You pay a membership, it's 12 bucks a month. It's really good, not sponsored, but oh, I don't I don't know why this makes me so angry. Hmm. And I'm really not angry. I'm just, I'm upset that people don't know. You just don't know. And kids, kids are the ones that are being affected. Okay, see this? Oh, that's not right. Why did that change? Hold on, let's go back to a different one. Let's try that one. <laughs> there, right here. This little thing right here, snippet tool, new, bam, right there. This right here. Creative Commons Attribute. If you wanted to take my entire video, rip it down, edit it a little bit or not, doesn't matter, and then post it to your own channel, you can. But here's the catch. You have to attribute the original works to me. You have to say, hey, this is Code Primate's channel from his thing, here's his channel. Like, as long as you mention that, Heath Haskins and I created it, go for it. Okay, this is also why my logo, if you take my Code Primate face, my my channel logo, and you go into Walmart to have it put onto a cake, they're gonna stop you and be like, no, no, we can't copyright, blah, blah, blah. Tell them, you have Creative Commons, show them this video. I grant you permission to use my logo on a cake, on a t-shirt, anything you want. The thing is, you can't take that cake and sell it. You can't take it and put it onto a t-shirt and sell the t-shirts. That's where the Creative Commons protects me, okay? And I also don't know why that was not on the last one. Oh, it's because it got edited by YouTube. Oh. <laughs> Creative Commons, save, done. 
all my videos, check the license. And if you happen to see some that are standard license, which means I own the copyright right out and you can't do anything about it, tell me and I will create of commons those things left and right. Because I believe in free software. I believe in open openness, okay? And that's been on my channel forever and a day. <sighs> I think that's it. Um, 20 minutes of ranting? Should we go play play Roblox for a little bit? I mean, it's... I want you to understand this. I need you to know this. And I need the kids to understand this. So parents, if you can, sit your child down and let them know what intellectual property rights are, how they work, and stuff like that. It's not going to affect the everyday user, okay? You're not going to get affected. But there are a ton of kids out there right now. There, You might be sitting there wanting to create your own video games. And if you don't understand the intellectual property rights and the way these companies work in the background, it's gonna bite you. It will bite companies left and right. There was a kid, I think he was in Australia and Nintendo had released Super Mario World for the Nintendo Wii. This is, I'm just going off memory here, but he got it from a Target shop that was, that like had released it early. And nobody believed him, so he took a copy of the the disc and uploaded it to the forum, which replicated, and they found out it was him, and Nintendo came back and sued him for like $1.5 million. I could never afford $1.5 million, let alone, like, I will say the majority of everyone who's watching my channel right now, you couldn't afford $1.5 million. And that's just the settlement. <sighs> now Nintendo went on to make like 320 something billion dollars or something from the cells. They, they made a lot of cells from the game. So they weren't affected. Just, <sighs> and that's just one example. Look at um, Pokemon Brick Bronze on Roblox. They got sued. Like they, they were forced to take it down. DCMAs are, are issued by these, these companies and they are big and they've got their legal teams all in a row and you, you're not going to be able to fight them, okay? So there are a ton of free musics out there. The Fat Rat is one of them. And what's great is, hold on, let's help that guy out. Get in there, buddy, get in there. Darkest Adams. Here's the thing. He will drop a claim on your video. Like if you use the music in the background, you go and dispute it and say, hey, here's the license. Here's where you uploaded it to your channel and you said it was copyright free. And you you prove, proved him. He had to do that because somebody else claimed his music. The YouTube claims are broken. Okay? They've been broken for a really long time. Um... The music rights are broken. Roblox is about to fall right into place with everyone else, which it's about time. It should happen. But I know for a fact all of the things that I've uploaded to my Roblox library, they are copyright free. I get them from free channels. I get them from license free places. And I check the licenses way before I upload anything. <sighs> What happened with the sound is I've got one called ambient underscore campfire and it comes from a, uh, a license free site. I can't find the original. I don't have it, but Roblox took it down saying that it, it violated a, a copyright license. I know it doesn't, but I also can't prove it because they gave me no information about what the sound was, where it came from what it was violating and that's got to change so i hope you're all prepared because roblox games are about to change once again and it's going to be free so there there are some good outlooks to it there's like you can do 200 songs for free without paying robux or something like that and it's going to be open to everyone so you don't have to have a premium license to upload sounds I don't know what's going to happen in the future, and I do apologize about this becoming a rant because it's it's the only way I could think to get the message out there. It's going to affect 
everyone, all the games. Video games, like the, the Roblox games where the users have um, moved on past Roblox, right? Some of our old favorite games, and they're, they're not updated anymore, but some of the ones that like I grew up with in 2016, that feels weird. Um, they're gonna be gone, and there's not gonna be anyone to update them or fix them because there's no developer there to create or modify the sounds. It's gonna become eerily silent. Now, I understand why Roblox is doing it, and it, they should have been doing it from the very get-go, from the very start, but every company makes mistakes, and I think this was a huge one. This is a big, big, big mistake. <laughs> Here's what's ironic. I say that at the same time, I've got the design on my t-shirt. That design on my t-shirt is actually from a t-shirt that I own in my wardrobe. Do I own the rights to that? No, I do not. And in fact, it's probably going to get taken down after this rant. But you know what? That's that's fine with me. If you, if you if they want to take it down, that's cool. I should probably go and delete it myself. It just <sighs> we are in for a world of change, and I hope that you guys are ready for it. Now, I can advocate. I can rant. I can yell. I can scream, but again, it just gets me worked up. And when I see the, when I see that notification come across my email, your video has a copyright claim, it boils my blood. That's when I get heated because I didn't know that there was a sound inside the game that I couldn't use. The song that's playing right now, Kevin MacLeod. Oh, sorry, Kevin McLeod. This song is copyright free with attribution. It's on YouTube. You can use it in your YouTube videos. You just have to attribute. Same thing. Um, I think there's some that you don't have to attribute. And I can show that to you real quick. If we come over here, down here on the left hand side, where is it? Audio library. So these songs over here on the right hand side. You have uh, no attribution required. No attribution required. If you look at these symbols right here, what kind of license it is? It looks like these are all no attribution required. No attribution, no attribution. Hmm, can we filter the attribution? Attribution required. Here we go. CC, Creative Commons Attribution. You are free to use this audio track in any of your videos, including videos that you monetize. However, you must include attribution information uh, in the video description. And if you check out the details, they'll tell you what you need to copy and paste into the video description so you can get past it. And if they happen to, is this MacLeod? Oh, it is MacLeod. Kevin McLeod, look at him. Look at this, look at this, look at this. He's got sounds on here. Merry-go-round, broke it down. Um, because I played that small little clip, I'm actually going to need to do that in my description now. <laughs> so we're just gonna copy that, bust out a notepad. We're gonna paste that in, just in case. And I'm gonna attribute that once I get this video posted. Um, all of these songs, if you see the CCs over here, copy uh, Creative Commons, now, if you see a singular C with a, like a circle around it, that is copyright. If you see a backward C and a circle, that is copy left, which is kind of like the opposite of copyright. But anyhow, started a long time ago and it land far, far away <laughs> called Nintendo. <laughs> no, um, it's, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long journey down this road. And I've, I've been in the field of copyrights. Now, here's the thing. I am not a lawyer. Okay, so a big disclaimer. Any of the stuff that you've heard me say on here, check with your attorney first. I can only give you guidance as to what I do whenever it's on my channel. And the things that happen whenever I go to check out the, check out the attributions and stuff like that. Epidemic Games is not going to help you. 
or sorry, epidemic sounds is not going to help you. Monster cat will not help you. I know that they say that they got the license inside the thing, but it does not cover your YouTube content. It does not cover Twitch content. It doesn't cover content creators. Star programs, okay? The Roblox star program, I don't know if it's going to cover them because they make videos. YouTube is not Roblox and the service, there's, there's some dialogue in there that you need to check. Roblox developers, listen. Please, don't use anything that doesn't have APM music on it. If you're going to use APM music and you're a content creator and you go and create a video about it, you need to make sure that that song is on Roblox and you can use it. It has to say courtesy of APM music. So, that is 30 minutes of rant and I am tired, but I finally feel better. I finally got it off my chest. I've got that that weight that was there all day long because it just I've seen I've seen it all over the place today in TikTok. Okay, I had my account switched over to business just from a long time ago. I thought, oh, you know, if I advertise on here, blah blah blah, and I realized that certain songs I can't do a duet with because it says not for commercial use because my channel was designated as commercial. The moment I turned that off, I could duet whoever I wanted. So I made some awesome duets today, all right? And I just, I feel like it's it's happening all across the internet. And I know I'm gonna get comments in here telling me that I'm wrong and there's stuff that we can do, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. If you If you wanna argue with me in the comments, go for it, leave a comment. Get more people involved. Get this out. Share it. Let people know. I know they're not going to want to watch a 30-minute video. And if you watched it all the way to this point, thank you so much. And tomorrow, I'm going to give away the $10 Robux card code. It's still out there. I don't know if anybody's claimed it. I'm not going to type it in myself, but I will show you exactly where I hit it. And if you're the first person with notifications on to see the video, you'll be the first one to be able to like type it in. It will be released at 11.30 a.m. on Friday, Central Standard Time. There you go. 24 hours from now. Same time this video came out. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things. Post call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here. You watched. You put up with me. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you have a great Thursday. We'll see you real soon. Outro.